lights, camera, action. What's up doll collectors and gift givers? Today we are taking a look at one of my new favorite doll lines to collect. LOL surprise, OMG dolls. This is the lights collection. I pre-ordered all of these dolls on Amazon. Right now they are priced at $24.88 each making the whole set around $100. There are four different girls, Angles, Groovy Babe, Speedster, and Dazzle. On the top of the box, it says 15 surprises, unbox fashions, dress me, shine bright black light surprises. Package becomes playset. There is a neon plastic handle at the top. Turn it to the side. You can see their LOL Surprise younger sister on the back of the box. It says LOL Surprise OMG Lights 15 surprises. At the bottom you can see all of the dolls in the collection as well as their hashtag collect OMG. In the middle it says OMG. We sisters invite all of our fabulous BBs to the event of this season. It's lights, camera, Fashion. As we hit the neon carpet in our boldest and brightest looks, get ready to glow because when the black lights hit, we'll reveal outrageous glowing surprises. All right, BBs, let's take a look at those dolls. We are starting with Dazzle. There's a tab on the side that says pull and what? Look at that! The picture is colored! Pretty cool little trick there, MGA. Remove the tape from the side of the box. There's a lot of tape everywhere. Not quite sure which ones needed to be cut, so I just cut them all. And now we're gonna pull this side of the box out. Did I get all the tape? Nope, missed one. Now this should come right out. And there she is. And she's dressed! Looks like you only need to cut the tape on this side. I am already loving the fact that she's dressed, has on a pair of shoes. Fancy. And I think this entire piece comes out. Wait, that's the background. Oh, things are falling. Okay, that stays in there, I'm guessing. Because this is the playset, which is a box. There are some lights printed on the sides. On the inside at the very top, it has her name, Dazzle, and it says, me, true style comes from within, also me, but it can't hurt to add glitter. I hope this doll is not covered in glitter. She has plastic ties securing her onto a large piece of plastic. I'm gonna use some scissors to carefully free her. Out of the box, she comes with a doll stand so the doll can be displayed. She has a neon brush, a sticker poster, one garment bag, and inside we find her little ruffled capelet. I think that's what it's called. There are little sleeves on the sides, so be careful not to tear through the stitching. That's a lot of ruffles. She also comes with a hat box. Inside, we will find, it looks like a little can of hairspray. There's a tag in the back, and you gotta remove it. Because this is not a can of hairspray, this is a black light. So cool! We're gonna check that out in just a moment. In the hat box, we also have some tissue paper. Inside the tissue paper, we have some sunglasses that are shaped like a bow and a little bracelet. The bracelet is perfectly coordinated with her whole outfit. Let's try on those sunglasses to complete the look. This doll has pink and orange hair with strands of tinsel. She wears her hair in two ponytails with lots of braids. She has pink eyebrows, neon yellow glitter eyeshadow, orange heart freckles, pink glitter lipstick, 
yellow painted nails. She wears a pink and yellow ribbon top, detached pink sleeves with yellow ribbon, a plaid shimmery pencil skirt with yellow ribbon, and yellow and orange shoes. She's giving off some strong neonlicious vibes. They definitely hang out at the same beauty salon. Dazzle has smaller packaging. She doesn't have a purse or earrings. Only one garment bag and one box. But on the plus side, there are no little plastic bags. Yay, planet! These dolls do have that light feature. Let's shine the black light on them. And her eyebrow, it says neon right there. Anything on her cheeks? Nope, but the other eyebrow says glow. Looks like her freckles glow and so does her lipstick. So I'm guessing in a dark room with a nice amount of black light, you're gonna get a really nice effect. And face tattoos. The box packaging is pretty cool looking. If it was larger, I would be very excited. But I'm still looking at it more as a background rather than a playset. On the shelf, it makes a nice display. Here is Groovy Babe. Pull the tab on the side. Ah, there we go. Ooh, that's pretty cool looking. Just looking at the picture, I am excited about her outfit. And there she is. Oh, all the black and white. We have a new black and white pattern on the inside of the box. The coffee shop is my second home. I say what I think. I live for the moment. She comes with a black doll stand, a white hairbrush, a sticker poster, a black and white garment bag with, this looks like her jacket. It's a black and white coat with a black collar, black around the cuffs, faux pockets, and silver buttons. It is finished on both sides. She has a white hat box inside. What is this? Oh, it's like a little groovy poems. Okay, a little book of poems. It's a paper accessory. And in the tissue paper, we have sunglasses, her black light, and a pair of earrings. The doll has long white hair with black streaks on the sides and in her bangs. Blue eyeshadow. She has a little swirl in her eye that you can see really well in person. Maybe we just gotta keep her head pointed down a little bit. Oops, nope, that was not good. I really wish I didn't see the swirl, but to be honest, that's all I can see. There is product in her hair and it easily brushes out. She wears a black and white t-shirt dress with cutouts on the sides. There's a little discoloration here. I think it's glow in the dark paint. She has polka dot leggings and black boots with striped heels. Here she is fully dressed. The collar is kind of thick, so we might need to stitch that down. The wheels on her earrings move. Use the black light to see the swirls in her eyes. The black light is pretty neat. If we get enough of these, we could have fun lighting up a mini room. Up next is angles. Pull the side. Ah, uh, it's off track. <laughs> Fail. There we go. Ooh, very colorful. Let's take a look at the doll. She comes with a black doll stand, wears multicolored pants, and a multicolored top. All of the fabric is sewn in small patches. These are all different little pieces that were sewn together. There is a black piece of patent leather that is between them and a patent leather strip going down the sides. The pants have slits on the sides. I can definitely see where they were going with this outfit and I love that they use different fabric for each of the panels. However, I don't know how I feel about all of these visible raw edges. Yeah, like that right there. She has painted stripes on one arm. Her hair is rooted to match her outfit. Lots and lots of color here. Look at all that, do you see that? Some pretty sharp chops there. And the other side of her head is shaved. It's a painted scalp that is black and white. Very dramatic makeup. Her garment bag matches perfectly. 
Inside, we have a plastic jacket to go with her outfit. Her nails are multicolored. The shoes are pretty cool. I really like this pattern on the shoes. Inside her box, it says, Angles, art is my primary. Be there or be square. Take in everything from a new angle. Pretty cool background pattern. She has a yellow hairbrush, a blue hat box, and inside, here is her little black light. It's a pink spray can. Inside the tissue paper, she has colorful earrings and a bracelet. Ah, oh, make that two bracelets. Use the black light to reveal some squares on her cheeks. And wow, check out her lipstick. That is super bright. What about her eye makeup? Oh yeah, that glows too. Okay. And here is her mini poster. Last but not least, here is Speedster. Pull the tab and come on, there she is. You would think I'll be able to do that more gracefully by now, but no. This is the doll that was advertised with the new car. I have been looking forward to her. Out of the box, she comes with a white doll stand, white checkered boots, neon yellow soles, and little flames on the heels. She has blonde hair with curled bangs, and the top is pulled up. A serious little flip here. She wears a black and green halter top with a pink collar, pink and orange shorts with black and white checker on the sides. The pattern continues on the back. Underneath the shorts, she wears leggings. They are two separate pieces. The back of her box has a nice little illusion. That's crazy. There are traffic lights printed on the inside of the box, and at the top it says, Speedster, why slow down when you can speed up? Why follow when you can pass? Why come in second when you can come in first? Here is her mini poster, hairbrush, garment bag. Inside of the garment bag, she has a jacket. It has a faux leather collar, cut out sleeves, and it matches the shorts perfectly. There's even Velcro in the front so you can keep it closed. Her hat box is pink. Inside, we have her black light. Remove the little tag, make sure it works. Yep, it works. Then there's some tissue paper. Inside of the tissue paper, she has some flame sunglasses. They're like a bright orange. And these look like gloves. That's actually a really cool accessory. And a pair of earrings. Wow, she came with a lot of stuff. One earring is an arrow facing down. The other earring looks like an arrow going up. Her nails are painted a neon orange. The black light makes her eyeshadow really stand out. And you can see some flames. Her lips glow neon. She has a little tattoo on one arm that looks like flags. And the other arm says BB. The gloves are a little chunky, but it's a fun accessory. And it's something new. Those glasses are huge, but it really keeps with the theme. This is a very colorful collection. I like that they pretty much come dressed. However, I am missing those extra accessories. To me, it feels like Speedster comes with two outfits. She has the jacket and the shorts, and then she has the tank top and the leggings. So that could be a lot of fun to mix and match. She is my favorite one out of the four. Coming in at second is Groovy Babe. I just really like her whole monochromatic look. All of these dolls are fully articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and they have a bend and snap knee. I'm using a bigger black light so we can really see that glow. Here is Angle. If you turn her, you can see that her head actually glows. Her hair is pretty bright. Words appear on her pants. She is definitely very colorful. Here is Speedster. Her hair looks like it has two colors. That is so cool because when the lights are on, it just looks blonde. But here, 
I can definitely see two different colors. The stitching on her shorts glow. In fact, everything that's like a neon color is glowing really well in person. It's kind of hard for me to pick it up on camera. Dazzle is definitely glowing. You can really see those eyebrows. All of the ribbon on her clothes are glowing. Her hair turns a really bright orange. Groovy Babe has a lot of contrast, the black versus the white. Her hair takes on this really pretty blue. You can see the swirl in her eyes. Having a large black light really makes this a lot of fun. Now that you've taken a look at the LO Surprise OMG lights, let us know in the comments down below if these dolls are a buy or a pass. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found this buyer's guide helpful. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! in my head